So now is not the time to make fast investments or even partnerships. I want to talk about how we can avoid scams, avoid any investment or income opportunity with someone that, you know, like run it, run it by someone before you do it that you can trust that will give you honest feedback. And then hint, hint, you could ask me. It it hurts my heart when I have clients that I've been working with for years and they make a $25,000 investment, $10,000 investment, and they didn't run it by their financial accountability partner. It hurts my heart. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to talk you out of the investment. I'm not going to talk you into the investment. I just want to run the numbers. That's all I want to do. I just want to run the numbers and see. You make 50 grand a year. If you make this 25,000 investment, that's 50% of your income. That's more than 50% of your income. Okay, so you're going to finance it at $500 a month for the next 36 months. So 500 times 36, 18,000. No, no, let me let me do higher. So it's like, maybe it's like, say it's a $25,000 program. Let me divide that by say like payments of 750 so they'll throw you on a three-year four-year financing plan and you're just like helping that guru get so rich um meanwhile you're over here struggling trying to you know make that pivot into that industry that you're trying to get into you're at your most vulnerable so let's really process this let's process potential scams potential investment opportunities people you could be working with, and even partnerships. On the partnership side, this is important. And this is something I'm becoming more and more aware of. Thank God I have not had this issue yet, personally, where I do business with someone, bring them on my YouTube channel, promote them to my whole audience, and then they end up being a scammer, right? <clears throat> Thank God I haven't had that issue yet. But there's someone that I know in my sphere, right? I won't mention their name, but they're going through something, something similar to that, where they... They made an investment with a, a company or whatever, and they were serving people. People made complaints about that particular service since they were tied to that service because they created content. The customers put a complaint and then higher up institutions submitted requests of these companies to provide, you know, evidence and paperwork. And now it's got, they got a, uh, uh, what's it called? They got a microscope looking right onto their business and they have to go through all this stress all because of marketing right it wasn't necessarily them doing the actual service it's someone else and that someone else wasn't maybe doing things ethically happens all the time so there's a couple of things and i've i think i've mentioned this before maybe in, an, in another video um but there are some youtube channels i pay attention to that I think you should too. And you literally could just go to their channel, go to videos and just look through the thumbnails. And in the thumbnails, you'll see all the different scams that these YouTubers are exposing. And think of it as like a content creator that's like a financial investigator. Or think of the, the show American Greed, right? It's on TV. Well, there's an American Greed version for fake gurus and content creators like myself that are educating people and they end up being scammers after and they, they don't find out till 10 years from now, which is why I'm always constantly informing my audience and my clients saying, hey, I need help. Pray for me. Right. That's one way you pray for me that I remain just and ethical and don't become a scammer and don't steal people and don't do harm. I'm literally asking for that, even though I know in my heart I would never do it, but I'm still going to ask for that protection and that spiritual covering because I've seen it happen to the best of the best, like the best of the best. I've seen it happen where I'm like, whoa, I would have never thought that person be a scammer or, you know, have some shady things about them. Never would have thought about that. And the reality is from what I'm learning as I mature more and more, everybody is vulnerable. There's evil inside of every single human being. There's also good.